Your master's castle is somewhere to the northeast, but your current power is completely insufficient to defeat him. Hurry up and gather strength. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. Today we're playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2, the standard game Wizards Land 1. Now, there are three scenarios. I think we're going to do them all at some point. You've been apprenticed to your master for years, but now you've found out that he has sinister plans for you. But to defeat Mendelis, you can't lose Soul Mirror, who has Ares. Uh, Ares is icon and also has warlock stats. Start with 10. Time may not be upgraded to a castle. Unbelievable. These darn uh, scenarios and their lack of castle upgrades. All your iron golds have been upgraded into steel golems. Yeah, baby. Rogue Leader comes out of the wagon and assures you that his followers are always available to you as long as the money flows into his pocket. Also, I'll just sell you a pair of magical boots. Minus two gems, and we get the pair of his boots of mobility. That's pretty cool. Did Rose join your army? Sure. Decide that you need to learn more about this area in order to proceed effectively. Send some of your rogues to scout ahead. All right. Oh my god, the peasants are fighting. Uh. I didn't need to cast that cold ray. Uh. That was a little overkill. That was excessive. I apologize. Cool dogs are keeping them alive will be challenging. Yeah, sure will be. First scouts return already. One says that the halfling town is just to the east. Another tells that the fairies have set up their court in the glade to the north where they let no one in. More scouts return. Tell you that the main production facilities of this region are located slightly further to the east. The sawmill near a stretch of forest. To the east is a small mountain cluster rich with ore and gold. It's operated by not-so-friendly doors, and you can even see the cracks in the ground from their work. Also, river flows from these mountains, and there's a water wheel beside it. That's cool, I guess. We're just gonna ice some more fools with some sling bullets. Oh, okay. That was even worse. <laughs> Okay. You go down. Exit in the mail. Oh, is this the water wheel? How lovely. Wish I was a necromancer. Just harvesting skeletons <laughs> be amazing my tax go go to that keep uh. the mill announces my lord working very hard to provide you with this gold come back next week for more I will wait what's over here Another scout returns from the north and tells you that Mendelus has hired some mercenaries to do his dirty work. However, they have not been paid in months and are quite angry and unreceptive. Hammond is to the north of the fairy court. Okay. We approach the halfling town. Some halflings are apparently still loyal to Mendelus. Sure. Now's a good time for Cold Ray. Actually, I'm going to steel skin my halflings. Shit. <laughs> All right, well, Ooh. 
Ouch. All right, well, that could have been managed better. Tell the remaining halflings how Mandalus has betrayed you, that he cannot be trusted. The halflings moved by your words, agree to send their warriors with you. Ransack them to the camp, discover hidden cash or treasures. Rogue followers have been up to no good again, but you choose to overlook their behavior in light of your current needs. Would have halflings of the for greater glory wish to join you to accept? Of course. The old knight appears on the steps of the gazebo. My liege will teach you all to know to aid you in your travels. Those experience. I think the mines first, in my opinion. Why? I'm not building anything. I can't build anything. Doesn't make any sense to get the mines at all, ever. I mean, I will take them, but... Scott arrives from the, north, from the northeast and tells that a small family of dragons lives in a ravine there. Dragon's Lair is rumored to be filled with gold and gems and to contain the enchanted sword. Dragons also force a local goblin tribe, the Nosebones, to operate a gold mine in the nearby hills. That's a great name for... Great name for goblins. Yeah, I'm gonna get reinforcements, though. Is that you can't build now or we'll never be able to? I can't build right now. I'm gonna take the mines, just in case that there's a, a town that I can upgrade later, but... It's not the priority. I don't really have any other priorities though, so <laughs> I guess it is the priority. Tired looking scout comes from the north. He says that there is a willow grove in the forest where primitive druids worship lightning. They operate a gem mine nearby in order to provide gems for the forest unicorns. To the north of the mine is a small enchanted forest where many ancient trees stand. That's cool. Okay. There we go. Scott arrives from the northern shore. He says that the beach is apparently popular with orcish witch doctors who set up their huts there. Further along the beach, a town called Blue Tower is defended by fears and creatures such as dragons and hydras. All right, that's the town we can probably upgrade. So what the halflings get an extra shot? Maybe. Uh, against doors, it's not a bad idea. Spatula. Oh, my poor boars. Good night. Uh, take leadership, I guess. Do not resist this, please. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Who else can we blast? You. Shiza. Good 
you. That's how you do that. I'm gonna take pathfinding, just in case this map gets screwy. I've never seen this map before. I don't actually know it. Look at the aardvark. First scout from the wasteland comes today. There we go. Thanks. Good thing I took pathfinding. Tell you that it is barren and empty for miles, ridden with sharp crags and narrow passes. The few travelers there say that a town lies in the eastern reaches named Yellowstone. It was recently taken over by Mandela's minions who have hired the ogres of the Golden Horn tribe to guard the entrance. The Nosebones, the Golden Horde tribe. Got a lot of stuff. Don't let it appears on the steps of the gazebo. My liege, I will teach you all that are known to aid you in your travels. How's the next New content. Yeah, exactly. What's down here? Move through the mountain pass. The areas beyond this lifeless wilderness. No living thing seems to make its home there. But what about this blind seer? Two more scouts arrive from the wasteland. From the la, 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 la. two more scouts from the wasteland arrive today. One tells you that part of the northern waste is inhabited by green-bellied trolls. Also nearby is the great city of the fearsome dragon masters. The other scout says that he managed to slip past the eastern ogre guards. It seems to be an area of the wasteland unreachable by any means. Nestled among the trees sits a blind seer. After explaining the intent of your journey, the seer activates his crystal ball, allowing you to see the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. Holy crap. All right. All right, yeah, number of heroes are tied. It's just me and him, baby. Just me and him. You tentatively approach the burial ground of ancient warriors. Do you want to search the graves? Yes, I do. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. There's not enough space to fully block them out. I mean, I can't take up enough space. They can still get around me, but... Save the other stack. Nuts. Okay. Please be worth it. Oh, yeah, that's worth it. Holy hand grenade. Got two pairs of shoes on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why, uh, the turn order is right there, Roz. It's right there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I thought, I thought I was moving the steel golems. 
Oh god, I'm gonna lose so much more than I should. Thanks for bailing me out, Morale. Jesus Louise is Lou. <laughs> that sucks so hard. Alright, dispel magic, sure. Alright, what's up here? Ragged Bloody Scout staggered into your camp today after your healers tend to him and gasped that he is the last of a scout party. As I approach the northeastern part of the wasteland, they're assaulted by many rocks, giants, and titans. The only one who escaped alive, obviously those monsters must be the guardians of Mandalus' castle. Alright, so he's way up in the northeastern corner, and it's good to know. I meant to read that. My bad. I got 2,000 gold for no reason. We get the eagle. Drink from the well restores your hit points, spell points rather than maximum. Oh, here we go. From the observation tower, you're able to see distant lands. I'm half of you done for, I know. Oh, the wasteland is pretty barren. That's cool. Uh, yep. How many dragons? A few black dragons. We're just exploring now. And logistics. My word. We are mobile. Every single one of those has been trying to teach me to do mines. Just pretty funny. Up oh, there's the beach with all the uh, witch doctor's huts. Cool. That's amazing. View resources, view mines, view resources, view mines. Meet a barbarian traveler in the past. He tells you that he has come from the north to see the world. After you tell him your story, he says, Always knew wizards were treacherous, except you, of course. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. It's too hot here. Population of rocks has doubled. Oh boy. Enter Mandalus' wasteland. As you survey the bleak landscape, you wonder whether you will come out alive again. Oh, we're, we're fine. Don't be so dramatic. Come across an old wagon left by a trader who didn't quite make it to safe terrain. Inside, you find some of the wagon's cargo still intact. Whoa! As you approach the ancient temple, a bright light appears before you. You hear a voice in your head. We are pleased that you take an interest in the old gods. Nobody has visited this temple for ages. We know of your quest, young wizard. Take this gift with our blessings. Fine breastplate increases your uh, defense skill by three. Pretty sick. Visit and appear at the temple. Raise the morale of your troops. I like how they weaved in that it was a, a divine thing because it's called the divine breastplate for really no reason. Old Knight steps out of the gazebo. He says that he is here to combat the foul creatures of the wasteland. And listening to your story, he shakes his head and says, Well, young man, I wish you luck in your home. Honorable mission. Here, take my medal. It will serve you better than me. I am loading up on artifacts. Some of which I don't even really want. View artifacts, great. Oh, there are the ogres. Scouts told us about, and there's a town. Yellowstone, hell yeah. Meet an old man huffing and puffing as he drags a large ballista behind him. He says that he is an inventor and the ballista is one of his creations. After telling him your mission, he smiles delightedly. Say, can you take this thing? I hate dragging it around and you could test it in action. Yeah, no problem. Get you dog, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll fire your ballista. I'll take your weapon of mass destruction. It's gonna be a village with three halflings for you to win the game. <laughs> Ah, at last, something to drink. Drink the sweet water to gain luck for your next battle. 
free sulfur mine. Free Shabaka do. As you approach the Dragon City, a sense of uncertainty forms in your mind. Will you be able to persuade the city's powerful guardians to lend you their help against Mandalas? Not right now. Let me see what's down here. Ah, the rocks. That I see. All right, let's go all the way home. Let's go this way. Approach the fairy court, however, the sprites don't seem to like you. All right, all right, says the fairy king. You'll get our assistance. Just don't hurt us anymore. <laughs> Please, not in the face. Upon entering the mystical fairy ring, Garmageddon's luck for his next battle. All right. More mercury that we don't really need. Group of sprites is our greater glory. We should join you to accept. I. I guess. I guess I'll take them. They're gonna all gonna die in the next fight. <laughs> the group of druids worshiping near the standing stones. They don't seem happy with you for interrupting their rights behind the druids. Is by a big four leaf clover. Cool. Flying peasants. Essentially, that's what they are. <laughs> Alright, if they're gonna take the shots instead of my uh, halflings, then fine. We're all gonna die in the next fight. I was right. Look at all the luck. Do I need the four leaf clover? I have the luck skill. But no, I'm not even going to pick it up. Random event? No. If I change my mind, I'll come back for you. Rogue followers have been up to no good again, but you choose to overlook your behavior in light of your current needs. Oh, how nice. Oh, okay. A horde mess of swordsmen, huh? As you approach the mercenary encampment, the captain shouts, We ain't have nothing, to, anything to do with you, mageling. You can't even lift a sword in battle. It seems you'll have to earn some respect the hard way. All right, I want to lose a lot of troops on this particular battle. Almost made the same damn mistake. Well, it seems you won this time, Mageling, says the mercenary captain. Maybe all wizards aren't wimps after all. Teach you some offensive attacks as you step right through here. I'm gonna just stab me in the back. Game of Thrones style. We get the aardvark. Come upon a mercenary camp practicing their tactics. The mercenaries welcome you and your troops and invite you to train with them. Also new attack skill.
come upon obelisks made from a type of stone you have never seen before. Staring at it intense, the smooth surface suddenly changes to an inscription. The inscription is a piece of a lost ancient map. Quickly, you copy down the piece, and the inscription vanishes as roughly as it had appeared. All right, Savannah, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Have a good workout. Or are you talking about me hitting the gym here? <laughs> I think I'm misunderstanding. <laughs> Come on, really? Maybe there's some sailing involved? I don't know. I probably should read that, huh? Sounds of zombies. Well, we did it to ourselves, everybody. Did it to ourselves. Disagree. <laughs> Him like a bad habit. I'm gonna draw them this way now. Ah, yeah, just close it off. Ow! Son of a bitch. Oh, the blood bus wore off. Okay. That went better. What the hell, really? Should I actually use these sprites.
What? 120 damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Just drop. Drop him like it's hot. <laughs> the types of the halflings can move. All right, well, that sucks. It would really like a hay spell or something. Do that right. I overthought it. Overthink it, overstink it. What about the council that happens is unfun. <laughs> No thanks. Actually, I will pass. Orcish witch doctor living in the hut deep into knowledge of magic by showing to cast stones, read portents, and decipher the intricacies of chicken entrails. Plus one of knowledge. The rogue followers have been up to no good again. Lighthouse is now under control. All your chips will now move further each day. Mm, green dragons. I don't think I'm ready for them yet. As you approach Blue Tower, you see many troops behind the fence. Centaurs stand ready with their bows, while Minotaurs sharpen their axes. Hydras slither along the moat. Griffins and even some dragons silk or circle overhead. Then Aregio, the town's warlock ruler, appears. He says, turn back, mageling. We have no wish to involve ourselves in the affairs of you puny wizards. All right. Whatever you say. You sick son of a bitch. Wow. Foremost scroll of knowledge. Land of who? <laughs> yes, indeed. Search through the fossil, but you find nothing. Search through the fossil and find some wood and some gold. Immense amount of navigational buoy confirming that you're on course and increasing their morale. Ooh, a pyramid. Swarm of mummies. And a sphinx. Pack of genies.
Away the babies. All right. Going back for some reinforcements. Boom, 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 boom. None of the shrines teach anime 10. <laughs> exactly how helpful these uh, rogues and sprites are being for us, but it's what we've got to work with. Maybe we can take the mummies. Now let's try it. land somewhere.
Oh, Jesus Christ. Pick him up, please. Save some of the halflings. Yippee. Man, that sucked. <laughs> do we even have extra wisdom? I do. I mean, I'm going to lose the halflings now, but whatever. Come upon the pyramid of a great and ancient king. You're tempted to search for treasure, but all the old stories were of fearful curse. None that guardians. Will you search? Yes, I will. <laughs> Big old moment. <laughs> Golems are kicking ass. You know, it's a little redundant to cast steel skin on a steel golem, is it not? Upon defeating the monster, you deciphered an ancient glyph on the wall, telling the secret of the spell, break the game instantly. Hell yeah, baby. Dimension door, son. Manja. <laughs> I have a riddle for you, this thing says. Answer correctly, you shall be rewarded. But answer incorrectly, you shall be eaten. Do you accept the challenge? Mummies aren't stronger than when they're three-ply. <laughs> what is the most destructive spell? The one that mages like you should use only in dire circumstances. Here's the answer. Armageddon? Looking somewhat disappointed the Sphinx size. You've answered my riddle, so here's your reward. Now be gone. Only 5,000 gold. All right, that's underwhelming. And zip is up. Here we go. Uh, we found a group of Jews working one of the strange stone edifices silently to teach you new ways to cast spells. Plus one to spell power. <laughs> oh, spell power is so high now. Ouch. <laughs> What? 
Hit the wrong one. My bad. We knew it was gonna happen. Sounds of L's. No, thank you. Something there. Man, is it not here either? Hmm. Interesting. Swarm of overlords, that's so stupid. Sounds of nomads, huh? Go and get behind there. Hey, Palm, welcome back. Nice to see you. Near here's white magic popular. There are different opinions on that, I think. Father, miss you. Does it see the master of the house? He trains you those four skills a hero should know. Hell yeah. Uh, gazebo. Okay. That's right here. Uh, right here, right? Gazebo, shrine in the third, second circle, rather. You shrine in the second circle. Right there, maybe? 
I don't know. Oh, he breaks the game. Eats everybody. As you're walking along a narrow path, a nearby bush suddenly bursts into flames. Before your eyes, the flames become the image of a beautiful woman. Pulls out a magnificent sword, too. Is your tax skill by three? There we go. After spending many hours digging here, I've uncovered the ultimate wand of magic. Spell power by 12. Well, you know. Now our uh, cold ray is going to deal a lot of damage, but. All right, this might be the last fight of the stream, and then we'll return to this different thing. Oh, there's only two of them. 193 hydras is a freaking problem and a half. That sucks. Who are you? Your dick. Oh, Lordy Lou. That's speed. That's a problem. That should help a little bit. Get in there, just get in there.
Okay. That was a lot of hydras. Took a lot of my concentration. And a lot of my troops. But hey, guess what? We took a town. Can't be upgraded to a castle, but... Uh... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got some spells. Side class of the artifact? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, actually. Eat it! Victoria's taking prize, the foremost scroll of knowledge. Increases your knowledge by five. Cool. Gonna paralyze the crap out of them. Try to take them one stack at a time. Eighteen is my knowledge. Ah, oh, crap! I'm gonna hit my griffins with my dragons. So I'm gonna get them out of there. How many are left? One hundred and forty-one. Paralyze him again. Keep on paralyzing. Whoops. Went the wrong way. Thank you. 
I could have attacked from that side. Which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, parallelize him again. 19 turns. Again. Crimson and Clover, over and over. and paralyze. That's what we're doing. A couple more times with this. Oh, the good luck shines. That's gonna help make this go a little faster. Alright, the only problem is... We're not going to be able to get everybody in there. Alright, so here we go. Okay, back to parallels. Skip. Breathe. Skip. Yep. Attack. Paralyze. Skip. Breathe. Yep. Yep. Attack. <laughs> Paralyze. There we go. Holy monkeys. All right. Breathe on him. Boom, baby. Whatever. <laughs> Destroyed. Okay. All right, nice. Meteor shower's good. You know what? I could do an army of all dragons and just cast Armageddon. How much damage does Armageddon do? I don't actually know. It's about the 1600 points of damage. Wow, that's a lot. Let's do it. Hundred dragons, is that enough? Got a throng of titans. A hundred and twenty titans. Ah, oh, Jesus, Louisa Slope. Ah, oh, 
crap. Oh, man. All right, kaboom goes the dynamite. Destroyed. Come on, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> Boom. We're gonna need a lot more dragons. See if he would attack me outside the castle. He did not. All right, 188. All right. This is doable? Question mark. up north and how many times will be left after this 97 okay Yeah, we're doing the thing. It's almost over. All right, this Armageddon could do it. Should do it. Oh, not quite. One Titan remains. Oh, Mandalus, you did your best. 
But you failed! <laughs> I lost 110 red dragons. How embarrassing. Ultimate staff. Stole mirrors, gained a little. Few of them, actually. Arch mirrors for wish we win. If captured, the enemy hero Mandala's request is finally complete. No way we make the chart. <laughs> I'm a grand elf. I don't even deserve that honor. Well, thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. This has been Heroes of Might and Magic 2, the standard game, Wizards Land 1. If you liked the video, please crit that subscribe button. More will enter your feed. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching and bye.